So here we are guys, we are doing a Trello versus Notion head to head today. We're going to be going over the features, availability and also just general opinion on how these applications compare. So hopefully if you are torn and maybe even uh, are hearing about Notion and being like, do I need it? Shall I transfer? Then this video will give you a nice overview. So when it comes to Notion versus Trello, I do think they are the strongest comparison. Although Notion is very open and flexible and it does market itself as a workspace, which is a whole lot different to the sort of experience that you'd expect. It could be, it could be Todoist, it could be Evernote, or it could be Trello. Like it could be a lot of things, but we're going to put putting it head to head with the likes of Trello to give you a full overview of how that works. Now, just to be clear before we jump in, I do use both of these applications. I use Notion for sort of project planning, personal planning, and I definitely have expanded my use since this time last year of Notion. It has pretty much taken over Trello's personal role for me, although I still use Trello for video calendar as well as working with clients. So I do use them in tandem, but very much Notion has killed a lot of my Trello use. Now, just before we jump in, you can use the timestamps below if you want to skip ahead to certain elements. So Trello is a company that has been around for a fair while now. It is owned by a company called Atlassian who own other applications like Confluence, Jira, sorry, Jira, and other applications for workspace productivity. And they've been growing uh, rapidly since they've been acquired by Atlassian. And maybe many people didn't think that, but they've been doing very, very well. And of course, they've been releasing a lot of great stuff recently. Now, for those who don't know, Trello is a project manager for both personal individuals, you know, side projects, whatever it is, and for teams as well. Whilst Notion, on the other hand, is very similar, but does allow you to have more of a personal experience to some extent. Now, Notion is the new kid on the block, and as we spoke about yesterday in the Evernote versus Notion feature, it is very new, it's very flexible, and it can pretty much do quite a lot of things. Now, in terms of standout functionality for Trello, let's go through a few of the winners for them against Notion, because I think it's important to talk about the strong points that work with them. First off is their fixed Kanban collaborative functionality, allowing you to do a host of different things with other people, and not in real time necessarily, but you have that fixed Kanban experience that everybody knows and everybody knows how to work. So for example, they don't necessarily have that many other viewing options, obviously calendar, but the main view is Kanban, and many people know how to use that drag and drop experience. Now Trello also have a very formalized layout inside of cards, allowing you to add descriptions, follow cards, and do a host more, including adding checklists, subscribe to cards, copy links, and comment, and so much more. Now there is an API involved in Trello as well, so they do have something called power-ups, and you can add a few to your account, but most of these are included in the business experience. Now Trello do have more creative backgrounds in terms of being allowed to, you, allowing you to add uh, a full background in the, in the board that you're creating, as well as stickers and awesome stuff like that. So it's a very fun sort of collaborative experience. Now, in terms of a head-to-head, -head, in terms of functions, Notion has a few standout functions, but not as many. Now, the thing that really makes Notion attractive for people is the flexible viewing options. Like, you could have whatever you want on that structure. Notion really doesn't have a limit to how you can structure it, whereas Trello does. Trello is more fixed. You can obviously add as many backgrounds and stuff as you want, but there's still this rigid structure in place, which is very useful for beginners and people like that. But if you want to take it to the next level, then the workspace definitely is something there. Now, inside of Notion, it's essentially creating your web pages. So unlike Trello, you can add a vast amount of detail as well as interactive elements at will. It's not like the fixed states inside the card, so you can go a bit deeper than if you want to. Notion also has table and calendar view. Although Trello does have a calendar view, this calendar view inside of Notion is so much more interactive. You can modify a lot more functions 
And even in the table view, that brings it to a new level as well. And you can change and add as many viewing options as you like. So in terms of pricing, Notion is priced at uh, $4 per user per month, and that's only for the personal account but you do get it on the team account for $8, which is fairly reasonable per user per month. Now Trello has a more free experience than Notion, allowing you to access an unlimited amount of Trello boards and cards and things like that, but they do also have the $9.99 per month per user pricing, which makes it a little bit more. Now in terms of the API, you get access to so many apps, so Trello wins there, but in terms of the file upload, like on a file upload inside of, uh, for example, a Trello business account is 250 megabytes. So that's really not that great. But in terms of Notion, you can add as much as you want inside of any of the paid accounts. So you're probably wondering who wins out of this one and the award has to go to both of them <laughs> because Trello is great and so is Notion. It really depends on your use. What I recommend is if you're more flexible, want loads of viewing options, definitely go for Notion. If you're more fixed and work with a team and want this, this experience everyone knows about and everyone works through, then probably Trello's your bet. Now Trello is taking the same path as Evernote at the moment. Evernote recently releases release Spaces and Trello released Home, giving it a bit of a more of a dashboard feel, putting it head to head against these other applications. And they also reworked their notifications to challenge the likes of Notion. So they are doing it in the best of their ability to help challenge this experience. And I'm sure in the future, they'll be adding lots more views and lots more flexibility. So guys, I definitely applaud you to check them out in the description below. And if you want to go back and check out any of the thoughts there, as well as other articles on Notion and Trello, then feel free to go below in the description. Anyway guys, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope that you enjoyed this one. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. And if you are not subscribed yet, hit that subscription button because we're gonna do more videos on this topic anyway. Anyway guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Make sure you have a great week, keep productive, and I'll see you guys super duper soon. Cheers.